Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Aegis Defenders. This is um, a little bit of an unusual game for me to be covering because as of uh, last year I kind of stopped covering Kickstarter projects for all sorts of reasons. You know, lots of people choose not to cover early access stuff. Usually with Kickstarter stuff you end up with some kind of rudimentary demo that is uh, a work in progress and perhaps not representative of the final product. Plus, I often feel like, you know, if there's a game no someone nobody's ever heard of and you make a video of it but the game's bad, it's kind of like, you know, why are you even telling me about this? If you, good games, sure, raise awareness, but a bad game that nobody's heard of, what, what's the point? Anyway, I, I wasn't happy with a lot of those demos. A lot of them weren't video ready. Basically, it's a very Cliff notes -y way of saying that. Um, Aegis Defenders is one of the first games I've covered that has a Kickstarter campaign going on right now in a long, long time, and that's because it is pretty darn cool. This is a pixel arty, obviously, as you can see, uh, Metroidvania plus tower defense, and it sounds like it would be weird and it is a little unusual but it's also really intriguing so we're gonna start up a, a new game here um, I'm using the PC controls which are not fantastic for the most part if you're the kind of person who's okay with like arrow keys ZXCV and stuff like that you'll probably be fine I'm not that kind of person I really wish that I had set up my 360 controller but hey here I am I'm actually gonna play it on easy because normal has been historically a little bit too hard for me over the course of this demo you'll see as we get started so where are we grandpa this is greater forest an ancient place fossilized centuries ago. Anyway, I'm gonna give you the basic story and you can read the writing here. There's a little bit of dialogue that goes on, but not really that much. Basically, this is a grandfather and their grandchild. And uh, one of them is like, the grandfather's like a tinkerer, and then the grandchild is like a hunter, basically. They don't have structured classes in yet, I think. Um, but this is how it seems so far, at least. Um, so basically, we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, of exploration here, and I really, really like the, uh, the look of this game. I know there's people out there that are, you know, consistently annoyed by pixel art. I'm not one of those people. I think this game looks really, really good. So, rats, we're stuck. Can you build something to boost us up, Grandpa? Of course. So, we can, uh, actually build things in this game. So, it's not like, um, it's not like Minecraft, but there is a little bit of resource gathering and building on a 2D plane. And you build structures, sort of. Mostly, you just build, like, barriers. So, uh, I picked up this mana root here. Uh, it's a magical plant that effectively functions as kind of currency if we were playing any kind of different uh, uh, tower defense game. So, this will allow us to build a defense block, as you can see. Now, the defense block uh, in the tower defense section of the game, and the game is uh, neatly divided, uh, what we will be... Oh, might as well take this. Um, what we'll be able to do with that... Um, I wonder if I can actually... No, I can't switch and get that recycling back. Anyway, um, that'll allow us to um, defend the turrets that we put down. And then there's another resource, which is that blue orb there they'll introduce uh, momentarily. So we've ended up trapped on uh, opposite sides. The For a demo, this game actually does a really, really good job uh, of tutorializing things. So I, I'm always impressed when, when stuff like that happens. A good tutorial, a lot of people, you know, would probably rank that, like, fucking last on uh, a list of things that are important for a, a video game to have. But sincerely, uh, a, a bad tutorial or no tutorial can break you. And I appreciate that this game is actually uh, fairly complex and a little bit difficult. Um, so I appreciate that they hold your hand a little bit. So I picked up a bloom flower. So basically what this is is uh, another currency. This one primarily used... Uh, to build towers, which you'll see momentarily. So, um, our unit here, I'm just going to ignore that part for now. Our unit here uh, does have a melee attack, but they don't let us use it yet because they want us to build a turret. So the way that you build turrets is pretty much you just get the blueprint for it, which we already have, and then you build it down. I'm starting to regret putting it on easy. Actually, I feel like this might be slightly too easy, but that's way better than dying like 70 times like I did uh, when I was playing off camera. Uh, anyway, we'll put down another turret down here. Again, this unit does have a melee attack. It's it's actually not so bad, but uh, they can also put down this advanced wars, uh, or advanced wars, I should say, looking turret here and uh, recycle this building, and then that turns it into uh, more and more resources. So we can also build floating blocks. Um, we probably want to cancel that and build it maybe a little bit closer, like so. Occasionally, I run into positioning issues. You know, I should mention, of course, this is all work in progress stuff, so um, anything that I complain about now could uh, totally be taken care of by the time the game actually comes out. I kind of wish there was a little bit broader or wider of a, a radius for you to build with because you have to really be concerned about your positioning and you can't move uh, once you open the build menu. So it makes it a little tricky to get into position sometimes, but mostly it works. So, um, oh my god, I didn't think it existed. Aegis, the shield of the gods. It will, um, it's uh, apparently very important for our people. So we're going to insert the energy stone. Then we'll find Dr. Wowie. There we go. 
So this is going to open up the tower defense section of the game. So the, the demo, at least as it's, it's shown right now, uh, which one I'm playing right now, doesn't really have a, uh, a whole lot of the platforming stuff going on. But that's okay, because the tower defense stuff definitely seems more meaty. And, uh, it, you know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Awesome Knots to a certain extent. And uh, I was going to say, you know, oh, this is the player phase, so I got to move pretty quickly here. Um, let's uh, let's start building some stuff. I'll put down some turrets here, because we're going to have enemies coming from both sides. Uh, but yeah, it reminds me a little bit of Awesome Knots, because like the first time that I was uh, playing this, I was like, oh, this is neat, like a side-scrolling uh, take on the tower defense genre. Like, what is... Uh, What's up with that? And then uh, I remembered that Awesome Knots uh, kind of did the same thing in a competitive format. But this feels like a more single player focused Awesome Knots, which is totally a good thing in my mind. So we're going to quickly uh, just throw down some defensive blocks here. Like we'll choose this one and we'll put one of these blocks here. And then we'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. And that will completely exhaust us of Mana Root, which is fine. Uh, these defense blocks, they kind of hang out in the background. So they don't really... Uh, block the shots from these auto turrets, which is important. This is a terrible place to build these turrets, because if enemies come down from up here, they're totally gonna just walk by them. Uh, but trust me when I say that these turrets will die before that becomes an issue. So this is where the Awesome Knots thing starts to starts to come into play here. Another thing that it reminds me of is uh, a little bit of like Risk of Rain sort of meets uh, Tower Defense, but that's mostly just because it's got that Unity feel for it and it's built in Unity. Uh, and... Uh, uh, a lot of the text is like that, and the pixel art is not necessarily dissimilar either, but you don't have like the four abilities that you use. Um, so, we're just uh, basically playing it more like a traditional tower defense game right now. We set up towers, but it's also uh, of critical importance to use your own individual abilities. Because you might be able to see, um, you know, we're not doing that much damage with these auto turrets. It's really the, uh, well, it's really me right now that, that is doing most of the damage. But there's almost like a resource gathering thing going on as well. The mana root and the... Um, what was it, like, gr plant bloom, something like that. They grow over time in those bushes. Clue, help me set up defenses. Does that mean we can uh, make traps now? With what? You're hunting traps. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll skip over that and I'll tutorialize it myself. But basically, um, those uh, regrow, I think maybe once every wave, gives us a very finite amount of resources to do something with. Now, there are new blueprints that we can get up there, which can be very helpful. But for now, I mean, it, it costs resources to get up there. So we've got to decide, do we want to go for it right away or... Um, do you want to wait until maybe later? And I'm going to wait until later. So I'm going to put down a slow trap here. And uh, that's got like a sweet little Mega Man X kind of like rolling shield look to it, which I really like. And we can also put down like a few spike traps. And spike traps are super useful. We'll put two of them down over here and we'll put one of them down uh, over here. Spike traps just do enemies or do damage to enemies that walk over them. Not do enemies. That would be something completely different. All right. So we're going to... Um, Take control of Clue for the most part. You can see the hammer attack there. Maybe he can uh, defend enemies, or defend that uh, Aegis from enemies. So basically the way that this is set up structurally, I don't think I take damage from walking over that, no. Um, basically the way that this is set up uh, structurally is this is like our Ancient, and uh, if the enemies get to it, we automatically lose the mission. I'm not sure if in the final release of the game there's going to be uh, less strict failure conditions. It might be nice, because seriously, uh, on normal difficulty, I'm not good at tower defense games, and if you've ever watched me play them, you know that. Um, but uh, sincerely, I probably died upwards of 10 or 11 times on normal, and it's a lot easier. I can't actually stress how much easier it is uh, to be playing this on easy difficulty. We'll probably breeze through, but that's, again, I think way better than me dying over and over. It's not like this is a final product anyway, so I have no idea if the difficulty is representative. So there are some heinous enemy types. A lot of them, you know, just kind of follow the formula of like Big Bad, uh, or Big Bad being a slightly like hardier version than Little Bad, uh, which I think is fine. But uh, there's also some some truly annoying enemies with some unique special powers. So I'm going to build a uh, an auto turret. I'm going to build it here, and uh, that should allow me to get up here and get that. So yeah, we can also do that uh, and just build turrets that way. And that'll allow us access to these other resources up here, which will actually, it's almost like, um... It's almost like playing Cannon Brawl, if that makes sense. Like, uh, you, you may or may not have seen me play Cannon Brawl, uh, on the NLSS with Nick. But, um, you know, as, as time goes on, we gain access to more and more of these resources. In fact, if I just, uh, very quickly put down, like, a floating block, or a defense block here, I should be able to get up there and get that new blueprint, which I think will give me access to a, uh, laser turret? Yeah. So the laser turret is a little bit more expensive. Oh god, did I permanently mess up the camera? No, it, it took control for a reason. Uh, the laser turret is, um... 
a more expensive turret, but also one that, as you might expect, uh, does a little bit more damage, although it has a narrower range as well. Um, so yeah, you're almost like, you're building these platforms that give you access to new resources. It's almost like a base building RTS in that regard, and in no other regards, because I mean, people always like to take it out of context. Northern Lion, this is nothing like a base building RTS. You're gonna compare this shit to StarCraft? Okay, well, just in, in a way, I've compared it to StarCraft, yes, okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's come up here and get all these resources. So we're basically, in a way, kind of like farming this stuff. Which is, is a kind of neat setup for a tower defense game. Because usually, you know, you just get money over time. Maybe you build towers that allow you to get more money. In this one, you've kind of got to seek out the, uh, the natural resources and, and figure it out for yourself. And if you don't get that, and I didn't really grasp that my first time through, uh, you're in for a world of hurt. It's going to be substantially more difficult than it would otherwise be. Next time we're in a player phase, we'll get the blueprint for that other side as well. Uh, and that should be really helpful because it will uh, allow me... Oh, these enemies are super annoying. Uh, that'll be really helpful because it'll allow me to build explosive traps, which uh, do a lot of damage but are like one-time use only. So I don't think enemies come up here very often, so I'm just going to build a uh, defensive block like this. And then we'll go like that and pop this bad boy open. Oh, that's the wrong button. I do, you know, I think the PC controls could be refined a little bit. I'm not sure if they actually... Oh, come on, just open it. Oh my god. There we go. So that's an explosive trap. I'm not sure if they actually have um, the ability to change the key bindings. I'm the kind of guy who's like, you know, the food in this restaurant is terrible. Like, well, why don't you do better then? No, that's okay. I'm just gonna keep being the grumpy pants. You know, that's that's me in a nutshell. Uh, and I apologize for that. But uh, that's, that's my nature. What can I say? With seven... Uh, Oh man, this is not good. Let's cancel that for a second. I've completely botched uh, how I should have spent my time here, but I think we'll still be okay. Uh, I really should buy some new turrets, though. Or build some new turrets, I should say. You don't get a lot of time. Let's shoot this guy. Come on, we can take him. We can take him. Oh, see, that's the thing. This enemy is super annoying because he just destroys uh, one turret as soon as he gets to it. You can kind of set up, I'm, I'm not sure if that's intended, but you can set up your uh, your units to kind of attack a position while you're gone, which sometimes can actually save you from, from total destruction. But for now, uh, you, my friend, you're going to build some stuff. Uh, build a, uh, a laser turret right there. And then you're going to build a uh, another laser turret right here. Again, not the best position for it. But you're also going to put down a defensive block. Uh, this is what I mean. I, uh, it'll fall down. That's fine. It doesn't block the laser either. Oh, oh geez. Get out of there, man. Uh, the uh, the units do take damage. Like, um, we have we have a health bar up there. I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, you probably figured it out. It's the one with the heart next to it, like it has been in every video game ever made. Um, and basically, when that drops down to zero, you also lose. There's a couple of different failure conditions. All right. Let's see if we can take out this bad boy. And... Uh, in the meantime, I'm actually going to quickly gather some more resources so I can build some stuff. I find that the build phases are not long enough, which is actually a good thing because it makes things substantially more difficult. So as time goes on, this guy's going to pop out a little bit. Man, I'm serious here. I'm really glad I played this on easy. Um, it, those flying enemies are the worst. If one of them gets to the end, you're, you're boned. Sorry, you're dead. So let's very quickly gather up all these resources. Should have been doing this a little bit more frequently, but hey, now's the time. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a little bit of anti-flying defense and the way that we'll do that is uh, a turret, an auto turret right here. This one will hit the, um, the flying unit and I think, you know, you don't get a whole lot of resources every time. Uh, so I think we're gonna do the same thing like here. We'll put down, oh, that's, that's a block, sorry. Um, we'll, we'll put down a turret like so. And now we shouldn't have to worry so much about flying units. Uh, we also can put down some more traps. I don't think more slowing traps helps that much. Uh, but I think more spike traps can help, but, um, you know, we can put down some explosive traps as well. Like, let's, let's protect ourselves over here by putting down an explosive trap, like so. And you can see what that does. It just basically just kills one enemy. But it's very cheap. It only costs, uh, one mana root, which is, uh, relatively low in the whole scheme of things. So I'm gonna assume that everything's kind of working as intended over here. Uh, for those big enemies, it's really nice to have that double structure, because it doubles, um... Not only to attack flying units, but also, you know, it does twice as much damage against the very tall units, I guess you could say. So let's do some resource gathering here. We've got a pretty good setup. I, I can't stress enough how substantially stronger this is than uh, my setup the last time I played. Oh good, we did um, definitely manage to take out that flying unit. Probably didn't even need me to be there. So we'll gather up all these resources quickly. 
And um, things do get more difficult as time goes on. I actually forgot how many waves are uh, are in this opening section here. So yeah, how do I feel about Aegis Defender so far? Let me preface this by saying, um, you know, if you if you pledge to the Kickstarter campaign, you're basically pre-ordering, right? How do you feel about pre-ordering? Most people, uh, well, maybe not most people, but a very, you know, vocal group of people are against pre-ordering. If you're one of those people, I'm not trying to pressure you to, uh, contribute to the Kickstarter campaign unless you want to. Um, it's already passed its goal, which was another reason that I was kind of happy to cover it, because it's not like, without your support, this won't get made. Not that there's anything wrong with that at, at some junctures, but, um... We'll, we'll build some more turrets over here because we're going to have more difficult enemies. But anyway, um, yeah, in some cases that's that's necessary for projects to get made, of course. But um, anyway, that's another reason I felt better about covering it, let's say. I think I, weirdly enough, I'm going to flip this. Did it work? Yeah, okay. Weirdly enough, I created like a weird space here. Just That's a glitch. Don't worry about it. Um, what was I saying? Let's build, uh, let's build another auto turret. That should just fall down, which is fine. And then we'll build a block, and we'll build a defensive block, like right here, just to protect it. Now, our laser turret... Oh, what have I done? Our laser turret might not quite reach to the end there. But that's okay. If it, It'll be like a backup in case things get destroyed. Um, I want to build some more spike traps quickly, because those are super useful. Um, so let's put... Oh man, that's going to be super annoying. Let's pop uh, a spike trap down like here. And the spike, I know we've got a lot on one side here, but that's okay. Now we're gonna lose one of our, oh, we lost both of our auto turrets there. That's really bad for business. So this is kind of terrible. I've created the situation where these units just kind of fall on uh, the turrets, which is not gonna stop any of them. So we should get some more um, kind of good turret defense going on down here. Just ignore that vibration in the background. Apparently I'm a super popular dude. Um, we're gonna just keep this up here, and we should build another block pretty soon because we can't gain access to those other resources for right now. The other thing we should do is protect ourselves, but anyway, um, the, the Aegis will slowly, you know, pull itself out of the ground. Oh, I hit the wrong button there. As it does pull itself out of the ground, it will um, take us closer and closer to the end of the mission. Put down a spike trap there quickly. Uh, very, very quickly. Oh, that's nice. Uh, on this side, they actually bounce off that uh, end piece. So they don't actually fall down. Oh, no, never mind. That did some serious damage. Um, yeah, I'm not in love with my setup anymore, but uh, we're getting fairly close to the end, I think. Maybe, like, I, I, we'll be able to see what wave this is in just a second here. All right, let's uh, go with Blockman here. Anyway, so, yes, you're, you're pre-ordering. I got super distracted there. So if you're not the kind of person that's okay with pre-ordering, don't do it. That being said, it's 15 bucks to gain access to the, um, you know, like early access, or sorry, just the, the tier access for the game. The tier of access for the game, if you know what I mean. Um, and it seems like a game that when it comes out could conceivably be worth that. I've had a lot of fun with the demo so far. It's really intriguing. It forces you to think outside of the box and in meaningful and different ways, which is cool. Uh, let's recycle this building quickly. It's hard because I want to talk, but I also want to uh, get something done here that could conceivably actually stop these terrible monsters from taking over where we're at, you know? So let's uh, get these auto turrets back up quickly, and um, we're going to have some annoying enemies coming right from the bat, but I think we're going to be fine uh, for now, at least. Can I actually make that jump from there? That's going to be the interesting part, because it's really the fact that these stupid beetles... Um, we can just absorb the damage a little. Uh, these stupid beetles fall down from the top. Yeah, that, that's enough. All right. Now, let's come over this way instead and see if we can get something done here. We could just set down, like, a, a metric fuck ton of explosive traps, and that would probably stop them. But I prefer doing it with spike traps because they're not single-use only. Um, if you're the kind of person who likes, uh, tower defense games, or that, you know, you, you got down with awesome knots, I think this is definitely something you should check out. You know, if not, uh, the, the, the secondary purpose is, like, even if you're not necessarily loving it from uh, the video, at least this puts it on your radar for when it actually comes out. I'm not sure when the actual release date is uh, supposed to be at this point, but uh, I know the Kickstarter just launched like two or three weeks ago, and it's already passed its goal. It's raised something like $95,000 already, which is, is crazy. I mean, a Kickstarter, I, and I don't mean this to be negative, but on Kickstarter, I think games that have a cool visual style uh, really have an advantage over games that don't necessarily... You know, to put it in, uh, like, stupid industry parlance, games that don't necessarily show well. And I think uh, Aegis Defenders is a game that shows well, but, you know, it also uh, it also plays well. Which is not something that always happens. Um, but uh, I'm always down for more cool pixel arty games, especially when, you know, it takes a genre, tower defense, which has kind of been done to death, uh, PC-wise at least. 
and uh, adds kind of a unique flavor to it. It's hard, and it's a little bit clunky using keyboard and mouse. Those are my major complaints, not that, that it being difficult is necessarily a complaint, uh, but uh, apart from that, I've had a lot of fun with it so far. And of course, you know, in its, in its current state, it seems kind of rudimentary. That's the other thing, but I mean, that should be pretty uh, obvious that it's a work in progress, and shouldn't judge it necessarily as a result of that. Although, you know, maybe you should because you're going to be putting down your hard-earned cash for it. So I'm just throwing down some defense blocks here. Um, I had an idea, and this idea was, hey, why don't we throw down some... Oh, sorry, that's the wrong button. Why don't we throw down some turrets that face the other way here and uh, maybe can flank these enemies a little bit. So why don't we put down, like, auto turrets here and here? And then we can also put down, like, a defense block uh, here. And that'll stop them a little while, and we'll do some serious damage. This is wave eight. Um, I'm just gonna take control of this unit, because I don't think we're gonna have time to put anything else. Oh, that was fast, but it does slow it down. You know, it has to eat that block. That's why it's spinning around inside of the body there. Um, yeah, I I kind of forgot what I was saying, but uh, I've I've enjoyed it thus far, and uh, I think other people will too. I don't know if this demo is actually like available. I know it's available to 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 press. I don't know if it's available for people that are pledging. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's nice. Now I feel like I've kind of shot my wad with respect to uh, you know what I was gonna say about the game, and we're not even done with the video yet. But that's okay too. Come on, don't break that floating. Oh, come on. What happened to my auto turrets too? I had like, well, I had several of them. All right, I'll tell you what. You know, I'm gonna I trust my turrets over there to do a good job. Uh, let's quickly build. Uh, no, 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 not that. Let's quickly build uh, an auto turret pile here like this. Don't let me down here. I this is where you know. The, oh, I don't have enough to build it. Okay, we gotta change characters then because I worry that like a flying unit could sneak in here super easily. Did I just place a spike trap on top of that defense block? Well, I guess when they break the defense block, then I'll be in a better position. Oh my god, what is even happening here? We gotta stop this guy. I don't care if I take a lot of hits in the process. We gotta stop this guy from getting through because if he gets through, that's gonna be terrible for my business. We might be getting close to the end. I'm assuming there's ten waves, but I might be mistaken. Now, let's keep this up here. Uh, definitely feels like something that would play better with the 360 controller, but Kate and I were just playing Crawl, so I don't have my 360 controller. It's over in her office room type area. All right, again, I'll sacrifice the body to get some damage done here. That doesn't bother me. I'm not even hitting there. Oh, man. You know what? Just go. <laughs> you, you earned it. Turrets are really expensive uh, for, for Bloom. This is what I mean when I say things get super difficult as time goes on. We should have turrets shooting from the other direction as well, but I don't know. Come on, don't let him take you down. We did it. Got another wave deep. I think my economy's kind of busted though, uh, which is a really weird thing to talk about in like a real-time strategy game, but I do feel like I've, I've got uh, not as many orbs as I need to kind of like do what I want to do here. We can make some more auto turrets, but uh, might not be enough. This is going to be wave 9. And things are really starting to get down to crunch time here. Uh, that'll be enough to get up there, but it's kind of annoying. Um, this might not be enough. I might be a big idiot, but we can always recycle it. Ah, we made it. Okay. Um, so quickly, quickly, very, very quickly. Let's build a uh, laser turret right here, which is really all we have money for. And then we're going to throw down like an F-ton of explosive traps. Explosive trap here. Supposed to trap here. Um, you can at least get a couple more done. You want to put it like after they get past your uh, your first defenses. So we'll put like one here, one here, um, one here. We should really get over there to help uh, help out. It's actually possible that our character might die. Right now, they also have a passive ability that allows them to repair blocks, which is useful. But if they run out of health, we just fail the mission. And if we fail the mission at this point, I'll, I'll probably honestly just end the video. I don't think you necessarily need to see the end of the demo to get a feel of what's going on here. We've been on the same uh, kind of gameplay structure for a little while, and one of the worries that I do have about the full release game, uh, again, keep in mind this is a work in progress, but uh, one of the worries I have about the full release game is that it'll end up being uh, a little bit uh, samey. Like, I, I feel like I've been doing the same thing over and over and over because I have been doing the same thing uh, over and over and over. Oh, please tell me I can actually make this jump. I pretty much am complicit in that thing nearly being dead. Uh, let's go get our resources here. I can build another few auto turrets. I can't help but feel like this side is way worse off than the other side. 
So let's go quickly get our uh, engineering type guy here. We can build two turrets. So I'm saying, why don't we build... Um, oh, that's not the right way to do that. We'll build like a auto turret right here to hit the flying enemies. I think that'll hit them anyway. And we'll build a laser turret right here uh, with a defensive block right in front of it, like uh, so. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Again, placement can be kind of tricky sometimes. Oh, oh, Jesus, what have I done? Okay. Blocks, defense block. There we go. We finally got into position. Now, the laser turret will still fire at that. And then with this guy, um, we're just going to sneak in here, put down some explosive traps, because that's really all we have resources for right now. And I don't know, if this goes much beyond wave 10, I don't know if I'm going to be in a, a very suitable place to deal with it. Laser turret's cutting up that, uh, that flying unit, though, because we're uneasy. Oh, come on. I was going to say, come on, you can do it. Don't do me dirty like that. Um... If we get another couple of uh, flowers, oh, please tell me this auto turret hits it. It does. Okay, so over time we should be fine, but it's kind of tricky to actually get the hits here properly. Um, we should build another auto turret on the other side when we get a chance. This is our chance. Um, so let's pop that down, like literally right where we're standing. Turrets, auto turret right there. And it's going to start doing damage immediately. Ooh, uh, I am surprised I find myself in more dire straits there. So this is uh, kind of a big bad, but he already got killed. What about over here? Game's getting a little framey, but that's uh, because of stuff that I've got going on on my end. You know, Adobe Acrobat Reader was just like, Hey, do you want to update? You don't look like you're doing anything. You're just playing video games. Fuck off, Adobe. I don't need that right now. Don't put that voodoo on me. All right, um... I guess I'm just gonna let this happen unless our laser turret can actually destroy that beetle quickly enough Yeah, that was bad. I'll admit. Oh my. Oh, you got to get out of there, dude Yeah, just go hide in the corner here. You can at least get those resources as soon as they spawn um, But yeah, he's he's down to two health. So we're in a, a dire straight right now dire state right now I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep hitting C to cancel. C is not cancel. Oh, this is really bad Our setup is not conducive to doing this, but I think we'll have a chance to do some serious damage now. Because he's going to be frozen forever. Oh, I'm tapping the V key so hard. And then we'll have probably exactly the same thing coming from the other side. This game's love symmetry. That'll take my laser turret and eat it, I think. But we'll still have our auto turret firing at it, and this might be the last wave of enemies we have to deal with for the time being. Oh my god, please die. Thank god. He's out! Aegis is powering on. Yes, with this, we'll finally be able to fight back and defend our village. What happened? Our... Why did it stop moving? It must have ran out of power. We'll need to collect more energy stones in order to power back up. Where are we going to find more? We'll need to explore deeper into these ruins. And scene. Oh, wait. It, uh... You know, you can't see, but it actually opened up the Kickstarter page in the background. Anyway. This is Aegis Defenders. Uh, it's a cool game. It's a, a neat kind of iteration on the tower defense formula, I guess you could say. And uh, I had a good time with it so far. So you can check it out on, on Kickstarter. I believe, I shouldn't say this, but I, I believe it already made it through Steam Greenlight. I'm clicking on the page right now. The trailer is going to play in the background. It's okay. Um, this game has been greenlit. Wow, okay. So there you go. Your, your job's been done. Um, yeah, so check it out on Kickstarter if you're interested in pledging. Uh, again, no hard feelings if you're you know, constitutionally not okay with uh, pledging to Kickstarters. I've pledged to very few Kickstarters over the course of my, you know, my time in the quote-unquote industry uh, because, you know, I'd rather just buy something when it comes out, although there have, there, there have been occasional projects I've backed. Anyway, this isn't what has Northern Lion backed on Kickstarter. Um, but if you're interested, go check it out. Uh, again, $15 will get you the uh, the game access tier, and there's other various goodies. Five bucks gets you, like, a wallpaper and credits, thanks or something. Uh, and, of course, beyond $15, there's, like, the early access tiers and stuff like that. But anyway, $15 is the, the bread and butter of what they're offering. Uh, apart from that, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more first impressions in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.